Um, I'm a little kid's Katie. Um, as you can see, these are the infamous countless stones. The reason why they're countless stones, well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? The local folklore has it that a baker, or a man of some description, tried to count these stones, and what he did was he put loaves of bread on every stone that he found. But, obviously because it's legend, it's folklore, what happened was, as he was counting, recounting them up, it was a completely different number from the one they started with. Now, like I said, this is just local folklore, etc, etc, it doesn't necessarily mean anything into it. But as you've seen in previous videos on my YouTube page, um, we've already done Kids Go Tea, but I did ages ago. Um, this one is special for me because I did my first ever Lightworker music video here. <coughs> it started in this very place. And I love this location anyway from where it is because again up there you've got Bluebell Hill that runs right up there although you can't see it that well and obviously these are the megalith no, megalithic stones so the other thing I was going to say to you about something which really grinds my gear that is called littering on something so prehistoric that it just annoys me like you have no idea and something else that really annoys me about it. graffiti and something so ancient and so beautiful. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Really just annoys me, do you know what I mean? Because it's like, I just, I can't understand why people would want to do that. Something so special and so beautiful. And a quick other story, two years ago that I came here, well, the very first time that I came here, they decided that they'd left loads of fireworks over there. So again, I hope you're really proud of yourselves, okay? By the way, if you want to know what that sort of weird dodgy buzzing sound is, unfortunately there is a pylon up there that's charged with electricity, which obviously is very scary. But um, yeah, here we are. There's not really that much to say. I mean, it was an ancient, it was formerly a Neolithic tomb, so these stones would have been standing up like this, pretty much like Keith's Cote, the well, on the top. Um, and it would have probably been surrounded by another ring ditch full of loads of little stones. So pretty much kind of what the principal Stonehenge was, although way smaller, um, way way smaller actually, because I don't want people to sort of like think that Stonehenge and this is related in terms of size, because it really isn't. Um, but again, the principle of somewhere like this, people seem to think obviously, a few people that I know, you know what I mean, um, a few people that I know seem to think that why would such things like this be? as big as they are you'd expect kings or queens to be buried here but obviously back in the day it was probably more like farmers and people who were working in this land it probably would have been a family thing as well so the idea is you probably would have had your whole family in here much like a crypt today kind of thing but just on a much grander scale um, but as you can see we've got a really nice day for it weather wise and um, like I said hopefully just come check this place out because it's really worth it and if you do pick up the litter yeah and don't graffiti on the thing all right really annoys me See you later.